What's up guys, this is Mike, the Detroit Borg, with a look at the speed and performance of the newest 2012 11-inch MacBook Air. Now, the version I have here is the base configuration with a 1.7 GHz dual-core i5 Ivy Bridge processor with 4 gigs of RAM and the Intel Graphics HD 4000 integrated GPU with a 128 gig SSD, which is upgraded from the standard 64 gig SSD. First up is a boot test to check just how fast the SSD can load the OS from start to finish. So in less than 14 seconds, we can start using our Mac. Now if we compare that to last year's base MacBook Air, you can see it takes slightly longer at just about 19 seconds. So not a big difference there. Next up is a disk speed test, which will tell us just how fast our SSD reads and writes. So in this test, we can write to the disk at about 250 megs per second and read at a red lining 450 megs per second. Now comparing that to the 2011 MacBook Air, you can see we have about the same write speed, but double the read speed. So Apple has really boosted the performance of the new SSD. This means faster performance overall, especially for software or files already written to the disk. Our next benchmark is Geekbench, running at 64-bit, which will tell us the overall system performance. So we score around 6300, which is a significant improvement over last year's model, which scored around 5100. Now by comparison, the top of the line 27-inch iMac scored around 13,000. Next up is Gaming Performance, which we can benchmark via Cinebench. This will test both the OpenGL performance of our integrated GPU and the CPU performance. So the new MacBook Air managed a very smooth OpenGL score of 70 frames per second and the CPU scored 2.4. That's a significant jump from the last model which managed a not so smooth 7.92 frames per second and 1.91 points. Now certainly this won't compete with dedicated graphics like those on the top of line iMac which gives us performance in the 35 frames per second range. Now to test real world performance I'm going to use Final Cut Pro to render one minute of 1080p HD video at 60 frames per second. The new MacBook Air completes the test in around a minute and five seconds. The 2011 MacBook Air takes about 11 seconds longer to complete the same project. Now with larger projects that will add up but it's otherwise not a night and day performance jump. The new MacBook Air has also added USB 3.0 for the first time, which significantly boosts transfer speeds to external drives equipped with USB 3.0. Now in the disk speed test, we can read right a little under 100 megs per second. Certainly not SSD performance, but a massive improvement over USB 2.0 on the old MacBook Air, which can only manage around 30 megs per second. So in conclusion, the new MacBook Air definitely managed to boost performance across the board thanks to faster CPUs, a faster SSD, and much better graphics performance as well as USB 3.0. Now before I go, I just want to demonstrate one of my favorite party tricks with an SSD, which is to launch all apps simultaneously. And with the faster read speeds of the new SSDs, things load very quickly and take just about a minute. So that's going to do for me guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.